Okay, good morning. Quick video. This is my take three or four because I keep messing up. Uh, recording videos about recording videos is tricky. So lots of you are asking which software to use to record videos for your students. And many of us are already using Zoom. Uh, here's the Zoom free account. I have an institutional one, but I'm going to use my free one for this. Um, basically, you want to check that your video setup, so you got your webcam working. Probably don't want a light behind you, but my son's working behind me, so he needs his light there. Audio setup working. Um, I also like in general, I use dual monitors when I'm giving classes, but it's probably not a good idea in this setup. And then share screen, really important side by side mode so that the video's off to the side and not over top of your presentation. Then the other relevant configuration is where are your recordings stored? So mine's in a Zoom folder in my documents folder. And that's about it. The other settings you can just leave by default. So that's it. We start a new meeting. I tend to use a private meeting, not my one that students know about, so they don't accidentally jump into my recording. So I'll open the microphone, open the video. Everything's good. We're talking with the camera. Remember to record. I've made many videos where I forget to hit the record button, which is always interesting, or I forget to unmute myself, which is also interesting. So hit the record button. And then we'll share, just like uh, we're giving a presentation. So I want to hit the share button. Ex there it is. Couldn't find it for some reason. It was right there. And then CBC Spark, great podcast. Take a take a listen. And I would talk about what I want to talk about for content. I might do a PowerPoint presentation or a video demo myself programming in Python or Smalltalk or C++ or whatever I want to show my students. I could share the full screen. I could share part of a screen. Uh, you should probably turn off alerts on your desktop so you're not getting a bunch of pop-ups, which I forgot to do right now, but should be safe. And then we'll stop sharing. And that's about it. It's just a matter of um, opening up the folder in Zoom of the folder where the recording is going to be. And then I'm going to actually turn the volume down on my computer so I don't drown myself out. And we'll end this call. As soon as we end the call, it generates the video file. And here's the video file. It's going to show up here in my folder. This might take a long time if it's a big video or you have a slower computer. So there's my video. I just need to turn the sound down on system so it won't drown me out. So I want to hit the share button. Ex there it is. Couldn't find it for some reason. It was right there. And then CBC. So notice the uh, video's off to the side. It's not on top. That's the main reason you want to make sure you're doing that side-by-side -side mode. Um, I want to silence the video while I'm talking over top of it, but that's about it. Talk about for content. I might do a PowerPoint presentation or a video demo myself programming and that's really about it so I'm going to close that up you can edit this chop off the part of the beginning and the end and do some other overlays whatever you want to do and then upload it to a video service but those are videos that I'll do for you at another time again go ahead and subscribe if you want to get updates of any uh, new videos from me more important give me some comments or feedback um, about what videos you'd like to see Thanks and have an excellent week.